you know, during the first year, everybody was doing the same course, yes, um, yes. but everybody had different interests. Yes. So everybody was good at different parts of the IFP. Yeah, so it was amazing. really good to come together and sort yeah, of like, we'd have like study sessions and mm. all that kind of stuff. It was really Okay, there we go. <laughs> Hey everyone, how's it going? So today, Jack and I are making a bit of a different video because do you want to tell them where we are? Uh, we are at my old uni, my undergrad uni, St George's University. And what did you study there? I studied biomedical science here. So we thought we would take a trip down memory lane and bring you here and give you a bit of a tour of St George's Medical School because you did your biomed there, but they do lots of other medical courses here, don't they? they do, Obviously, yeah. medicine, physiology. I biomed, mean, what's lots um, of... what's what's good about it is that it's very integrative. So your first year here, as a medic, as a biomedical mm -hmm. scientist, because it's part of a, a hospital, you, you, patients see them on day one. I mean, yes. you don't treat them or do anything on day one, but you see them. They're, so they're always around. Even as biomed, you get even to see as biomed. Them around. Yeah, they're always around. And um, we're going to get into a tour video, and Jack's going to tell you a lot more about the actual place. But something I want to uh, mention because we talk about this all the time. So we both studied biomedical sciences. Jack's course is accredited, isn't it, by the it, Institute yep. of Biomedical Sciences? Mine wasn't. I studied at Newcastle University, so my course was a lot more research-based, and it was a lot more, I guess science heavy if you like whereas Jack's course I'm always astounded by Jack's knowledge of anatomy and you know his clinical knowledge because it's way way beyond mine and I think it's because of the way your course was structured right yeah very very much so yeah uh, I mean we oh, something that I couldn't show you on this video uh, for obvious reasons you, you'll see um, the tournament <laughs> uh, yeah sorry yeah something I can't show you uh, on this video um, is uh, the dissection room. Um, so even as a um, uh, you know as a biomed, yeah, we, we yeah. get to go through uh, DR and yes, um, our anatomy. Room. You know, you get to see it all. I mean, in the anatomy books, it's all it's lovely to see all the different colours and the blues <laughs> and the reds and you know your liver's purple and in real life it's everything's the same colour. <laughs> everything's the same colour. Um, yeah, no, so it's, okay. it's good. So we're just going to get into the video now and Jack is going to show you a little bit of a tour and if you stick around until the end of the video then I'm going to ask Jack a few questions specifically about his course and yeah in case any of you guys are thinking about coming and studying here. We'll see you at the end. I can't hear that noise over there. I think you can. Um, um, it's not, okay. Nothing's on fire. <laughs> We're all good. So this is the St George's Library, this is where I did most of my studying. So is this the Student Union? So, no, this isn't the Student Union. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of lecture theatres here, so we've mm -hmm. got like little group rooms here. Mm -hmm. This is the Michael Heron Lecture Theatre, which is I think the second biggest. Mm -hmm. um, the biggest one is the Moncton, which I can show you. Mm -hmm. This is like quite a good, this is where we usually have our lunches and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, down there you've got a big computer room. Mm -hmm. um, and, on the other side of this is just like wards and stuff. You've got more wards. It's, it's funny because you are literally in a hospital. So is this uh, just biomedical sciences students or do you have medical students as well? You've got everyone. You've got medical students, you've got physiotherapists, you've got healthcare assistants, you've got... It's, it's, uh, it's amazing because everybody's all together, especially during the first year. You've got something called IFP, which is the Interprofessional Foundation Program. So everybody does exactly the same exam. Um, so. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Huge, lots and lots of people. Um, I think it's locked, I can't show you, but on the other side of this wall is the um, Moncton Lecture Theatre, which is so big it actually spans from ground floor all the way up to this first floor. So this is the Graduate Centre where um, if you're a graduate you have your own special place in which you can study. <laughs> 
Um, so uh, we're now on the floor where the student union is. You know, I was telling you outside where the sort of neon lights are. We're going to go in there now. Um, I used to be the events officer for St George's, so I used to have to organise all kinds of like fresher events and stuff. Mm -hmm. And we did it from here. And it looks like they've wow, they've completely changed it. Um, oh, that looks really fancy in there. That's a pret. They've got a pret now. Oh, I damn. <laughs> didn't have a pret when I was here. <laughs> Oh yes, of course. So down here is the neon. And why is it neon? Because we have all of our like... Events. Events there. So we have like, um, what have we got? Back to school is an event. Um, we've got toga and tequila is another event. Um, and is this crazy. just for freshers or is it all the way throughout the year? Uh, well, we have a freshers fortnight. We don't have a freshers wow, week. Wow, what tricky that is. Um, uh, and uh, kind of all throughout the year we've got lots and lots of different events. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's actually locked, but I can, I can show you what it looks like. And it looks really big, doesn't it? It looks like a It's really big. Space. It goes all the way that way and yeah. all the way that, that way, way as well. Ah, well. oh, amazing. Shame it's locked, but never mind. It, and also, they've, they've, they've completely revamped it since I was here. It was yeah. looking a bit tight. And then here, this is the SU uh, mm -hmm. office. So yes. this is where the um, sort of like president and um, yeah. all the sort of top dogs. I also like this, sorry guys, I just have to show you that they're doing <laughs> prime <laughs> student ad advertisement. Okay, amazing! So guys, I hope you enjoyed the little tour. I Hope you found it informative. Thank you so much for showing us around. It was really good. It must have been good for you to come back and have a little Nostalgic. reminisce. I know. They've got a pret now. I can't get over this. <laughs> it's so nice. I no, I come here just for the pret. Just yeah. for the pret coffee. Right. So, as promised, I'm going to ask Jack a few questions about his course and about a bit more about his experience. And also, we're just filming outside, um, and I'll, I'll show you where we are sat. We just sat on some benches. So, I guess the first thing that I want to know. Um, is as I said I did biomedical sciences as well but my course wasn't accredited by the Institute of Biomedical Sciences but Jack's was and a question that I get asked a lot is like what's the difference and if you are there any advantages of doing one or the other so I don't know if you want to elaborate on that a little. Um, I think the difference the main difference between the two of them is that a non-accredited course gives you a bit more flexibility about the kind of stuff you want to do so yes, if you want to go down the route of research or you want to mm -hmm. um, do something that's a bit more out of the scope of the guidelines of a, an accredited course because an accredited course you have to meet certain criteria mm -hmm. um, what kind of criteria uh, I think it's stuff to do with um, NHS mm -hmm. um, uh, and so but I mean the, the the benefit of doing an accredited course mm -hmm. um, is that if you want to join the Institute of Biomedical Scientists, it's mm -hmm. very easy to join. You don't have to do any kind of extra training, which mm -hmm. I think you would have to do if you wanted to do I would, yeah, that. because I'm um, accredited. Yeah, and then once you've joined the Institute of Biomedical Scientists, it's easier to mm -hmm. become a member of the Healthcare Professional mm -hmm. Healthcare Professions Council, I think it is, the HCPC. Mm -hmm. Uh, which is gives you the protected title of a biomedical scientist, so mm -hmm. you can go out and say you're officially a biomedical mm -hmm. scientist and go do. So, so one one other thing. So, obviously, I know the answer to this question, but I'm going to ask it for your benefit. Um, do you think that doing an accredited course has hindered you in any way, as opposed to doing a non-accredited course, which, as you just said, is a bit more uh, open? So I think it really depends what you want to do. So if you are very interested in becoming uh, a, a researcher for academic purposes, uh, you should probably do a non-accredited one. If you're interested in doing um, a, a like research for the NHS where you'll be processing bloods and you'll be doing patient pathology, doing, yeah, then you should do an accredited. But may I just interject and uh, put here because Jack clearly didn't pick up on my cue that I was trying to hint at oh. is that Jack did an accredited course, I did an unaccredited course, where we were, both ended up in the same place. So we both ended up studying our masters at King's College London. So and we both ended up working in research. So in that sense, I don't think doing an accredited oh, no, course has hind no. hindered you in any way. But like you I just said, have it, more of an option. It really depends where you want to go. So. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, even if you even if you end up doing an accredited or a non-accredited, you can always mm -hmm. go where you want to go. I mean, it just depends on the amount of extra work you may or may not need to do. Yeah, um, absolutely. I mean, it just so happens that a two so you know you you're interested in going into medicine. Mm -hmm. um, so 
processing bloods for the NHS and stuff may not necessarily be mm -hmm. um, something you want to do long term. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the difference. Yeah, um, but I guess what I'm trying to tell you is that, as Jack said, it does depend where you want to go. Yeah. But if you do end up doing one or the other, don't be afraid of missing out on the other because either way, you'll be able to find your way um, through doing these. So, because yeah. this is a panicked question I get where people yeah, are like, yeah. oh yeah, there's if no I better. do this, no, there's no, no better. One isn't better than the other. Yeah, absolutely. There, no, that's not, that's not, there is no accredited is better than or non-accredited is better than it. Yeah. It's not. I think the bus is planning on moving. I think half of this video is just going to be commentary about the buses. Public transport in London is good. Um, so one other question that I would like to ask you is just for you to talk a little bit about your overall experiences at overall experience at St George's, if I can get my words out. Um, and how does it compare, um, for example, to being at a uni that's a bit more central? Because St George's is Zone Three, and um, Kings, UCL, Imperial, they all tend to be Zone One. So what is your experience? Just tell us a little bit more. Um, I suppose, in a weird way, you're sort of halfway between a suburban and central borough, so it's slightly odd. Um, hey, you get the best of both, I yeah, suppose. Yeah, yeah, you do. Central yeah. can get a bit chaotic sometimes. Um, I mean, what's nice is uh, you do have, you do develop like a kind of small community here and all of the people on your course you tend to get quite close to. Mm -hmm. um, something that I noticed particularly for this uh, course is because it's quite clinical and because it's very integrative with um, the clinical side of medicine as you're in a hospital, the majority, I want to say, certainly in year one, seventy percent of the people wanted to do medicine. Um, yeah, I think that's just biomed in general, yeah, though. Like even yeah. on my course, like loads of people wanted to do medicine. But something that was interesting is by the end of third year, that had probably gone down to about forty oh, yeah, percent. Yeah. Because um, a lot of people just yeah. find out how amazing biomed in itself yeah. is. And one final question is, I guess, just to give people a little bit of an overview of St George's, uh, doing biomedical sciences at St George's. Could you give like a little, a few words just about your course, the modules you took? Yeah. Um, and you still did the research project as well, didn't you? So I did, yeah. So, I mean, I briefly mentioned earlier that the first year consists of IFP, mm -hmm. uh, where everybody does the same exam. Um, it's sort of like a warm up, I guess, into your courses. Um, it's actually really, yeah. I really enjoyed it. Okay. Um, and, and what then, does that stand for, do you know? The Interprofessional Foundation oh, Programme. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and then second year, <clears throat> you start to refine your choices down a bit. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and then, uh, well, third year, I, I had to pick three modules. And um, what did you choose? So I chose um, Immunity and Infection, mm -hmm. uh, Biology of Cancer. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's my favourite module. Um, <laughs> and then I initially picked uh, Development and Disease. Mm -hmm but there's a lot of embryology in that and mm. I really struggled. Yeah. Uh, so I was lucky enough, I mean, I picked it up early enough to realize, you know, yeah. I, I, this is too yeah. tough for me. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so I swapped that out uh, to do another module, which was... <laughs> Why are you laughing? I don't actually know what you chose. I can't remember. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to cut this bit out. <laughs> okay. When Jack's memory suddenly jogs, probably like 24 hours from now, I will put it on the screen what the third module was. Immunity biology of cancer, and one other, oh no, human cardiovascular and respiratory pharmacology. This is why I didn't remember it. Right, okay, <laughs> you're forgiven. <laughs> um, and, uh, and weirdly enough, that was actually the, the, uh, the module that I did my final project in. Um, and my final project was um, looking at the effect of um, some drugs that we could use to constrict blood vessels. And was this in a lab? It was in a lab, yeah. And did you have to write a thesis or a paper? I had to write, I, yeah, I had to write, do a big write, a dissertation. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm going to be honest, the labs that I was in, I was in the old labs. There's two, there's two kind of labs at St George's. Mm -hmm. There's the old labs and the new labs. The new labs are ridiculously amazing. Mm -hmm. The old labs are old Less um, than a week. <laughs> okay but let, let me just kind of counter counter that by saying that even at king's there are some labs that are amazing yes. i mean and all there are some labs that yeah, are just yeah. old uh, but the important thing is it's always about the work you're doing and not the lab yes so yeah wise words from jack <laughs> yeah um, um yeah. so overall i guess if you had to summarize your whole experience at st george's and how would you oh there's one more thing actually i want to ask more about the social side i know that although you did biomedical sciences you said there was a community feel and a lot of your friends aren't just from biomed are they you have a lot of friends who no, are medics yeah, yeah, yeah. because it's very you all like integrate a lot so yeah. do you want to talk a little bit about the uh, social side? well i've got friends that are 
St. James's wing. If you Jackie walk, <laughs> if you walk in. Uh, the question site. I was asking. Yeah, sorry, um, we just were given directions. So um, I was saying that a lot of your friends aren't just from Parliament. Oh yeah, that's right. There's yeah, a lot yeah. of medics because yeah. you know, as Jack said, it's a very. Yeah. So how's that? How's the social uh, life here? No, it's great. I mean, it's really nice. Um, uh, so I, I made some medic friends. I made some um, healthcare assistant friends. I made some um, radio radiologist. Radiologist? No. Radiology Ra- friends. Radiology friends. Radiology friends. Uh, well, you know, when you become a radiology technician, it shows how much I know. Um, don't put that in. Um, and uh, <laughs> and uh, no, no. Um, uh, but no, I made loads of friends from lots of different um, programs, and it was nice because you know they all had expertise in various different parts of medicine. And because, mm, yeah, especially during definitely. the first year, you know, during the first year everybody was doing the same course, yes. um, but everybody had different interests. Yes. So everybody was good at different parts of the IFP yeah, so it was really good to come together and sort yeah, of like we'd have like study sessions and mm. all that kind of stuff it was really fun oh, lovely. Um, okay. and then uh, as I told I think I briefly mentioned earlier like I liked it so much that I decided I thought I could help sort of run it um, and me and three others um, sort of signed up to be events officers for the student union um, <laughs> and it was great fun for the, the most part when I was sober um, <laughs> The rest I don't remember, but I think it was fun too. Uh, <laughs> but that's just a great part of being a student. Um, <laughs> Anywhere yeah. you go, yeah, yeah, generally. Okay, well, thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing your experience and sharing this lovely place with me and also all of you guys watching. Um, is there anything that you want to finish up with? Any kind of words of wisdom to anyone who wants to come here? Any yeah, finishing um, marks? Any stories? I don't know. I think my, my words of wisdom is uh, perhaps try your best not to be uh too obsessed with names um i mean a lot of people think oh sorry i think there's a helipad around here you might be able to oh, yeah, hear that the helicopter there. Oh, there's a helicopter going by that's, okay. a, that's another really cool thing about st george's there's a helipad here so <laughs> it's a bit like watching tv sometimes you see all these like paramedics like running slow motion <laughs> that's like, really with a helicopter in the background and you're, you're in your lecture just like <laughs> <laughs> um i suppose final words of wisdom would be that every single university has got their own sort of perks. This one uh, I personally found was the fact that it was so integrative and that was what I really liked about St George's. Mm-hmm. And people often get quite hung up by um, by names. Uh, I mean St George's... As in ranking, right? Yeah, I mean, like ranking, King's yeah, is a big so name, like Oxford UCL. And Cambridge yeah. and, uh, and um, that doesn't necessarily correlate to uh, what your student experience will be like. That's um, so true. That's so, so true. I would say, you know, Come in with an open mind, see if you like it. Um, they do some, quite a few open days here as well. Yeah, and um, you seem to have had a really good I really enjoyed experience. it. I really enjoy it. And yeah, uh, well, I enjoy both Kings as well. I enjoy yeah. both of them. Yeah. Good. Okay, well, thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video has been informative. And also, as always, give it a like, subscribe, come along. I'm trying to make more of these videos since, you know, it's like open day season and lots of people are going and, you know, going to different universities. So if you have any other questions for Jack or myself, that isn't the buses, buses. The buses do drop you off right outside. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Of, <laughs> this is why, you know, it's always so busy. So yeah, if you have any questions, let us know. And thank you for watching. And thank you. Thank you for being on my channel. Until next time, take care and I will see you later. <laughs> do you want to do that again? <laughs> yeah, thanks for that.